Okay, and I have two here, Moss 1 and Moss 2. I think I'll just start with maybe the second one. Okay, and we'll open these up. And these are pretty big. It's actually uh, 3,000 wide. Uh, and some of this I don't want to have on there, obviously, so let's just crop this first. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the crop tool and we'll cut off the bottom. Alright, I'm just going to go up and maybe take kind of like the center portion of it here. Alright, and do enter. And then uh, let's just patch out these little uh, marks here. That's going to look kind of weird if it shows up on our... Uh, our texture. Okay, so I'm just going to use the uh, healing brush again. Alright, so we'll alt click somewhere and then just uh, quickly get rid of them. Alright, this is obviously, a, you know, some kind of concrete wall or something, so there's some rough spots. Um, that's going to make ours look a little bit weird if we leave them on there. So we'll just quickly get rid of anything that looks like it stands out as being wrong. And we will mask some of this out. I'm not going to actually just apply it like this. Um, I'm going to try to break it up a little bit more using a mask. So uh, some of it will probably get uh, covered up anyway. All right, so just get rid of anything like that, maybe. Uh, we have a crack up here, but I'm just going to you know, get rid of the top of this anyway. So we don't need to worry about that. Um, and that should be fine. Okay, so let's copy it. Control A and C. And we'll go back to our uh, map and just paste it on top of the dirt layer. Control V. Okay, and I'm going to start on the corner posts here. Alright, so I'm just going to drag this down. And we'll zoom in. Okay, and it's it's too big, obviously, so let's uh, do Control t and Shift-Drag on the corner to scale it down. And I'm not going to put the moss all the way up the uh, corner post. I'm going to keep it to like the bottom third or maybe half way up. Okay, so we'll take it down a bit. Alright, I'm just going to move it over. Alright, just below the uh, UV chunks there, and I'm just going to scale it back up so it, it matches the width we need. Okay, maybe like that. And we'll say enter. Okay, and I'm going to use a mask just to get rid of some of it. Okay, so let's uh, go out back to our texture source folder, and I have a couple of masks here. I'm going to take the first one. Okay, and this one's also 3,000 wide. Okay, and you can see it's pretty high contrast, and when you're working with masks, um, Anything that's black or dark is going to be hidden by the mask, and anything that, that's white is going to show through. So if it's 100% you know, white, it's going to show 100% through, and if it's you know an off-white or light gray, it's just going to lower the opacity based on the level of that uh, white, and same goes with the dark. Okay, so we'll just copy it. All right, and we'll just go to layer 2 here and just add a layer mask. Okay, and I'm just going to click on the mask here and then go into the channels uh, panel. And we'll go down, turn our mask layer on, and I'm just going to paste it right here with Control V. Okay, that's going to show up red. All right, so let's do Control T on this, and I'm just going to scale it down so it kind of fits the height of our posts. All right, let's take it down a bit. All right, move it over, and you can see um, the parts that are going to show through there. Um, I'll go back uh, to our normal layer in a second; it'll be a little more visible. Alright, but you can see it's starting to break it up here. Okay, so I'm just going to do something like that. Hit enter. Okay, and then we'll just go back to the layers and just click on our normal layer there. Okay, and you can see what it's doing. I'll turn the UVs off so it's easier to see. Alright, so it's just going to hide some of the uh, the texture behind it. Okay, and that's the really cool thing about using masks. Um, you're actually not wrecking the image underneath. Alright, you can you know turn your layer mask off just by disabling it anytime and you're going to get your full image back all right so it's not destroyed then you can just click it to turn it back on and you do still have control here to you know tweak the moss texture make adjustments to that or make adjustments to the uh, the mask itself okay so if you just select the mask box so it's highlighted there you can do maybe let's do image adjustments we'll just do a levels adjustment here okay so you still have control to bring more of it through, as you can see, or take more of it away. Alright, that's the really powerful thing about using them. Alright, same goes down here, you can adjust the output levels and make it fainter, or go the opposite way and brighten it up and get more of it back. Okay, you can see it coming through there. Alright, so I'm just going to leave these um, at the defaults. I might just take the uh, the left one here up a little bit. All 
And I'm just going to try to bring a little more of the uh, the detail through. Don't want it to be too crazy. And I do want it to look somewhat patchy, um, and that'll depend on how you want yours to look. You know, if you really want it to look like thick moss, you can. Uh, you know, pretty much leave it at how the uh, original image looked. But I'm going to break it up just like that, okay? And we'll say okay. Alright, and we can test this on our model. Um, as you can see up here though, some of that concrete from the wall is actually showing through. Okay, and we obviously don't want that showing up on our board, so I'm just going to click on the mask again here so it's active, and I'm just going to actually paint on it with a, a paintbrush and just black, okay? So it's going to hide in. Same goes if you switch to white and you start painting, it's going to show more of it through, okay? So I have a fairly large brush here, a soft brush, and I'm just going to just paint the top half of the post out. Okay, And this is a really quick way to do this. You could actually make you know a levels adjustments or brightness and contrast adjustments to the actual mask itself to get rid of this. But uh, just for the sake of speed, I'm just going to quickly paint some of it out. Okay, And you can see it disappearing. And again, I'm just going to keep it to like the bottom third, maybe, and we'll see how that looks. And if we have to move it around, we can. All right, so we'll just quickly get rid of some of it. All right, and then let's do a save, and we'll just check it out in Max and see if it's going to work out. Okay, so file save. Jump back over here. And this might be a little too bright, um, but we'll see how it looks here when it shows up. Okay, so there it is. And I do want to have this kind of thick, patchy look. Um, and I'm going to keep it towards the bottom because I would assume, you know, more moss is going to grow closer to the uh, the ground. But you could add it higher up or on the top as well if you want to. Alright, so I think this is a little too bright looking and again this depends on, you know, your monitor. This might look, you know, kind of dark or it might look neon green. Alright, so I'm just going to go back and just tone the uh, the brightness down a little bit on that. Okay, so I'm going to select the actual moss again. Go back and do an image adjustments and I'll just use maybe hue saturation here. Okay, and you can still tweak it. All right, you can tweak the hue change the color. All right, I'm just going to leave that one at zero. Alright, same goes for saturation. You can take it down so it's less saturated or more saturated. And then brightness. Uh, make it darker, make it brighter. All right, I'm just going to take the lightness down a little bit into the negatives just to make it a little bit darker. All right, I'm going to go maybe negative, say 24, 23, something like that. Okay, And we'll say OK. And then we'll just save one more time and just see if that looks a little better. Okay, so it's a little darker and it doesn't, you know, quite stand out as much. All right, so that's probably fine. Um, we'll add it to the rest of our boards and the ladder, and then we'll see, you know, if we need to adjust farther. Okay, but let's just do a save here, and we'll jump back over and just add it to the rest of the uh, bottom boards. So let's just zoom out for a sec. All right, turn UVs back on, and I think I'll just do the uh, side boards here next. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on these guys down at the bottom. Okay, and if you want to save some time, you could just reuse the moss from uh, up here on the uh, corner posts, or you could actually apply the layer mask here to collapse it, and then you could just copy this altered moss around, just like we did with the wood and the dirt. But uh, I might just go out and actually open up the other moss picture I have just to uh, change this up a bit. Okay, so we'll go back out, and this time we're going to take moss one, open it up, and this one's about 3,000 wide as well, so let's just crop some of this nasty looking stuff off here. So I'm going to cut off that lighter part of the bottom and maybe just take a chunk of it like that. All right, maybe a little taller. Okay, and we'll crop with Enter. And it doesn't look like we really need to patch anything on it, so let's copy it. Control A and C. Go back and we'll just paste it on top of our other moss layer there with Control V. Okay, and this one's uh, big. So let's do uh, transform on it, Control T, and we'll just take it down so it's a little bit uh, more the size we want. So I'm just going to pull it over here. All right, I might just stick it like that right now. And I think I'll just worry about maybe the first two sections of the boards at a time, and then we'll do these two over here. Okay, so let's just say enter there. And again, this is where, you know, being organized when you lay out your UVs will really help in here because we know these are the lower boards here and then up to the top. Okay, so I want to have a dense close to the ground, so I'm just going to worry about getting it, you know, on the bottom few. And we'll just add a mask to this, so let's go grab our mask again. I'm just going to use the same one. Copy it. You could use a different one if you wanted to. All right, we'll go back. We'll add a layer mask to that uh, layer. Okay, go into the channels, turn it on, and paste, Control-V. 
All right, and even though we're using the same mask for this, you could vary the scale of it and add some more variation um, to the moss so it doesn't look exactly the same as that one up there. Okay, so I'm just going to move it down, and we'll do Control T on it and just take the, uh, the size down a bit. All right, move it over. All right, maybe like that for now, and we'll say Enter. And then let's go back and just uh, click on our image. All right, I'm just going to get rid of that selection. All right, so I might just test this out and just see how it looks. And if we uh, you know, don't have enough, we'll uh, do a levels adjustment on our mask to get some of it back. Okay, and we'll also tweak the color so it matches this. But let's just uh, do a save. And we'll go back over and just see how that looks. All right, it's going to show up down here. All right, this doesn't look bad down here. Uh, not sure if I want to have it all the way up this uh, diagonal board or not. All right, so I might just take it off there a little bit. Okay, and we can also mask it off up here at the top. All right, so same deal here. I'm just going to click on the mask and use a black paintbrush to just get rid of some of this upper stuff. All right, you can do this with the EVs on too. All right, so we'll just get rid of it. It's overlapping our corner post there a bit. All right, get rid of it over on these guys. I'm just going to feather it out of those upper couple of boards. And this will you know, really depend on how much you want to have on your, your tower. You can put it all over the place if you want to. Um, you know, it would grow up on the top as well if it was, uh, you know, old enough, I would think. Or just depending on, you know, how wet it is or if it's in the shade or, you know, whatever. Alright, so I think this is the end I want to remove here. So I'm just going to paint a little bit on this uh, middle piece just to hide some of that and we'll go back over and just see if um, I'm doing it on the right end. I'm pretty sure I am, but uh, let's save and just check it out. Okay, so I'm going to see if this disappears. Alright, looks good. Okay, and it doesn't have to be, you know, a perfect even level around the entire thing. You can have it, you know, go up one post more than another, uh, which might actually help it look a little more realistic. Or you could have it, you know, coming up onto here, or whatever you want to do. But uh, that doesn't look bad for these guys, so I think I'll just leave that and move on to the uh, the next ones. All right, we could maybe tweak the color a little bit here though first. Okay, so let's just do that quickly. So I'm just going to select the layer there, and we'll do a hue saturation on this. All right, just take the lightness down a little bit to darken it up. All right, even just like that, slightly, should be fine. Okay, and we'll just move on to the next set of them. Alright, turn our UVs back on. Okay, so for this one, um, we could reuse this, or we could reuse the original one. I think I might just reuse the one we used on the post there, just to change it up a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to go down to layer 2, and we could apply the layer mask, and then just, you know, hit Control A and C and copy it over. Or what we could also do here, if we want to still have the ability to alter our mask uh, later on and want to make changes, we can just right-click this and duplicate the layer. Alright, just say OK. All right, it's going to give us a copy of the layer with the mask still in there and editable. Okay, and then we can just drag that down over here. All right, so I'm just going to line it up with these uh, lower ones again. Okay, maybe like that. And I'm just going to chop off the part that's overlapping. All right, um, delete. Get rid of it. Okay, and same with the end grain here. I'm just going to delete it off there for now. And I think I'll do these uh, separately in a minute, okay? So just like that. All right, so let's save again. Jump back over and just see if that looks okay. Okay, so let's uh, just spin around here. I'm just going to close the uh, active shade window for a sec. All right, so it's fairly thick on the back, and that's okay. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know completely uniform. Alright, so that's okay for the lower parts. I'm not loving this up here, though. I want to have, you know, it more on this end than this end. So I think I'll get rid of that. All right, it could be a little thicker on this one, but I might just leave it just for the sake of speed. Okay, so I'm just going to tone it down up on this uh, part here. Alright, so let's turn our UVs back on. And that's this one right here. All right, so same thing here. We can just paint in the mask to get rid of it. All right, so I'm just going to select the mask and just use our black paintbrush again. Take the brush size down a bit. 
and I'm just going to paint it off here just a bit. Okay. And if you wanted to get more back on the other end, you can just switch colors and paint in there, and you can see it coming back. All right, but that might be a little too intense. Okay, or you can even experiment with you know different shape brushes to you know bring some of that back in. But uh, I might just kind of leave it like that and just check it out one more time. All right, file save. All right, you can see it uh, disappeared there. All right, so that's not looking too bad. And again, if it's looking too intense or you know too thick, you can take it down. Okay, so let's just turn our active shade back on. All right, and we may as well do a save while we're in Max. All right, save another copy, and we'll just go back and finish this up. So let's just turn our UVs back on. Okay, and we'll just quickly add this to the the lower um, end pieces that we have here. And it might just actually reuse the same one, so I'm just going to duplicate this uh, layer again. All right, right click, duplicate, say OK. Okay, and we'll just drag this over to our end grain. Um, just going to kind of try to get it on there somewhat evenly, so I might use the middle of the uh, moss. All right, let's get in here, and hopefully you can see this OK. All right, so I'm just going to overlay it like that, and then we'll just chop off what we don't want. Okay, so I'm just going to drag a selection around these lower ones. Okay, and then around our posts here, I'm going to hold down uh, Shift to add to the selection. All right, just make sure we get all these ones. These ones are the upper ones here, so we don't need to put it on there. Okay, so I'm going to select everything on the lower part, do Control Shift I, and then delete it out of there with Delete. Okay, so just like that. All right, and let's do a save one more time and just see if that's going to look okay. Back in Max. All right, and now you can see we have it on the uh, the ends of the boards. Okay, so it just blends everything together. We want to make sure that we don't have you know it on the sides but not on the ends because it's going to look you know pretty much completely wrong. And you can see right here on this one. I'll just get in there a little closer. You can see what I mean here this one it's got quite thick moss on here but there's nothing on the actual board there so that looks like a mistake okay so we can either take it off there or we could add a little bit more to our uh, our diagonal one there okay which you might want to do uh, right now okay so I'm just gonna quickly add some just to that uh, one piece all right and that's this one right here so I'm just going to duplicate the layer again. All right, let's use maybe layer three this time. All right, we've only used that once, so I'm just going to uh, duplicate this. Say OK. All right, and we'll just drag it up so it's actually on the board we want it to be. OK, right here. And I'm just going to drag a selection around that board. Invert the selection and delete the rest. And let's just mask out the end piece here again. Alright, I'm just going to paint on the mask with black, not with white, with black. Okay, and we'll just remove it from that end, the upper end. Okay. Alright, let's go down to the next one. This one right here. So again, I think I'll just duplicate it. Okay, duplicate layer. And I know we're making a mess here, but we're going to combine all these uh, all together on a single layer when we're done. All right, so I'm just going to drag this uh, stuff down. All right, it's already cropped because we just chopped off uh, some of it, so it should fit the board pretty good. All right, we could do Control T and just uh, rotate it. All right, I might just flip it horizontally. Okay, and then move it down to this end, All right, just so they won't look the same. Okay, just like that. Enter, and then just to be safe, I'm just going to drag a selection around again and chop off everything else. All right, invert, delete. All right, so let's turn the UVs off and just check that out and see if it's uh, gonna look all right. All right, save. All right, so we should see it show up here. I'm just gonna click to refresh. Okay, there it is. All right, so it's blending it in a little better now. All right, let's check out this side. Okay, and that side's uh, okay as well. 
All right, so we'll just add it to the uh, the ladder, and we will have to add it to the pipe as well and the foot blocks, but we'll do that after we texture them. Okay, so let's just quickly do the ladder. I'm just going to save here in Max one more time, and we'll go back. All right, so we'll just move up to our, our ladder post there and turn our UVs on. All right, so you could use a fresh mask if you want to, but uh, just to save time, I'm just going to reuse what we've already done. All right, so I'm just going to maybe copy. I'm just going to zoom out here so I can actually see. We've cut a few of them up, so I just want to make sure I take a, a decent-sized chunk. Okay, so I'm going to reuse this layer 2 copy one. All right, right-click it, duplicate. Okay, all right, then we'll drag it up so we can see it. All right, there it is. So let's turn the EVs back on, and we'll just go in here. Okay, I might actually scale this up just slightly, just to get it a little higher up the uh, the post. All right, just a bit, so it's about the bottom half. All right, let's just remove the part we don't want. So just drag a selection around that ladder piece, invert it, and delete it. All right, so there's one post done. Let's just move up to the uh, top one here, and again, I'm just going to reuse uh, one of these. Alright, and this is the one we just uh, did, so it's already cropped for us, so I might just flip it around with Control t Alright, so let's just flip it horizontally, just to change it up a bit. Okay, so we'll turn the UVs off, just see how that looks. Alright, not too bad. Okay, so we have our ladder rungs up here, and this will be the last part we really have to worry about for the moss. Alright, so let's just maybe take... maybe layer 2 copy the original one here and just uh, duplicate it again one last time alright and just drag it up okay here it comes and I'm just gonna keep it to the bottom two or three just gonna turn the UVs off here just to make it a little easier to see All right, so I'm just gonna find kind of a random spot that looks like it might work alright maybe like that okay and then we'll just uh, chop off what we don't want. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag a selection around the wood there, invert it, Control Shift I, and delete it. All right, so I think that's all the moss we uh, have to worry about right now. Okay, so let's just zoom out and take a look. Just make sure I didn't forget any pieces. Um, we will have to put it on the pipe, but I'm gonna wait. All right, so let's just save and just make sure it's gonna look right. Jump back over to Max. All right, just wait for it to update. All right, so there it is on the ladder. Alright, let's just turn on active shade here. Alright, and again, you can take, you know, all day doing this if you want to, if you really want to be, uh, you know, precise where you place it, but uh, I've spent quite a while on it already, I don't want to take too much time up, so I'll probably just leave it like this, but, uh, you know, feel free to, you know, add more to the top or other places, and you can still tweak the color and the intensity to get it the way you want, but, um, I think I'll leave it like this for now, and we'll move on and just finally start doing the uh, the concrete footings. Okay, so let's just do a save in Max, just to be safe, and we'll go back. Okay, so we'll combine all our layers together. I'm just going to check out this uh, bottom corner here. I just want to make sure that I added enough to these guys. Alright, because now that I look at it, it's fairly you know even, um, the intensity of it on most of our pieces, but then the first ones down here where we use that different uh, texture it just doesn't look as thick so I'm just thinking maybe I should add a little bit to that before we uh, we move on let's just go back to max for a sec and yeah you can see it doesn't really look that great right here okay so uh, I'm just gonna quickly fix this and then we'll combine everything okay so I'm just gonna figure out what layer that is All right, it looks like it's probably layer 3 alright so I'm just gonna maybe delete that alright we'll just hit delete get rid of it Okay, and then I'm just going to go down and just copy off one of these other pieces here. Alright, we'll take this layer 2 copy one again, and I'm just going to duplicate it one last time. Alright, and we'll just drag it over. Over here, okay. And let's turn UVs on. Alright, so I'm just going to do Control t on it and just scale it a little bit longer. Okay, just so it fits a bit better. And let's just turn our UVs off. Okay, so we'll save and just see if that uh, kind of fixes the problem. Okay, we should see it along the front there. Alright, so 
not too bad. It looks a little more even with the rest of it. Um, and again, you know, you can take forever playing around with this, but I think uh, just for the sake of speed, I'm going to leave it, and we probably should move on. All right, so we'll save one last time and start working on our concrete. All right, so let's just zoom out. I'm just going to fit this to screen. All right, so let's just select uh, layer two, hold down shift, and then go up to the top. All right, so all the ones that make up the moss, and we'll just do control E, combine them onto a single uh, layer, and then let's just name this moss so we know what it is. Okay, and then we can just cr close up the uh, moss one picture. Just say no. Get rid of the mask, get rid of the other moss, and we'll start working on the, the concrete here. All right, so let's turn our UVs back on. And we'll just go back out and open up a concrete uh, pitcher, and I have four of them here. Uh, and I'm going to actually use all four of these, so let's start with uh, concrete one. And this isn't giant, so I'll probably tile it a couple times. Let's just copy it. Control A and C, and we'll close it, and we'll just paste it above the moss layer with Control V. Alright, move it over to our little concrete blocks there, and we'll do Control T and just scale it down. Alright, so I think I'm going to take two at a time. You could do all four at once if you wanted to. But I'm just going to try to keep the resolution uh, as good as possible. Okay, so we'll scale it down a bit like that maybe, and hit enter. And let's actually zoom in here so you can see. Alright, I'm just going to build up a couple layers of concrete and try to get kind of like a, a rough, old kind of concrete look. Okay, so we'll do that, and then let's copy it again. Control A and C, and paste, Control V. And we'll cover up the other two. Right, I'm just going to try to get the edge of the picture in between them. All right, we'll do Control T and just flip this around, maybe horizontally. And let's do it vertically as well. Okay, just change up the detail, and you can slide it around if you want to. All right, so we'll do something like that, and we'll combine them both. Layer two and three. Control E, and then let's trim this off. All right, so I'm just going to drag a selection around. Alright, control shift I and delete. Get rid of it. Okay, and we'll just leave this one at normal and 100%. Uh, I'm just going to call it concrete. Right, let's call it concrete base, maybe. Okay, and we'll go out and open the next one. Alright, so we're going to take this uh, concrete 2, open it up. And this one's not massive, and it's a little weird looking, but I'm just going to use this to get some variation in the uh, color. Okay, so let's just copy the whole thing. Control A and C. Close it, paste it on. All right, and we'll do Control T and just scale this way down. And if you wanted to just use a single concrete map, you could. Uh, you don't have to necessarily build up a bunch of layers of it. All right, so for this one, I might do. Let's just do all four, maybe. I'm just gonna see how that will look. might go down and get some of this darker stuff at the bottom on the, the texture. Alright, maybe there, and enter. Okay, and we'll just chop this one off as well. Alright, invert it, and delete it. Okay, so I'm just going to turn the EVs off here for a second. For the blending mode on this one, I might change it to maybe overlay. Okay, and you can see the difference it makes. It just adds a little variation to the uh, underneath layer. All right, so we'll do that, and let's just name this maybe concrete uh, base two or something. Doesn't really matter what we call this stuff. Okay, and let's turn the EVs back on, and we'll just go open the next one up. All right, concrete three, and same thing with this one. Um, I'm just going to add, you know, it to just get a little bit more variation and kind of like a rougher look. Okay, so we'll do the whole thing. Control A and C, copy it, close it, paste it on. Control V. Alright, and for this one, um, the resolution is not fantastic. As you can see, it's a little blurry in some places, so let's just scale it down and do two at a time. Alright, maybe I'll use the top portion of it for these guys. Okay, enter, and we'll copy it, Control A and C, paste it on, and just move it over to our other two. Alright, let's flip it around horizontally, and let's do it uh, vertically to change it up a little more. Alright, so I'm just going to stick it maybe like that. 
and we'll say enter. And we'll combine two and three together. Control E. Alright, let's trim these guys off. Alright, invert it and delete it. Okay, and we'll set the blend mode to this one maybe to overlay as well. And we can always, you know, tweak these as we get it more built up. Alright, I'm just going to go down to the uh, base 2 layer. And maybe just try uh, changing the mode to maybe multiply to make it a little darker. Alright, so that should work. Okay, so we'll leave the first one at normal, second one at multiply, third one at overlay. And then we'll just open up the last one. And this one here is really, really chunky, as you can see, and the picture's taken from really close up, so it's not ideal for this. Um, we do have some rocks and stuff on there. Uh, but I think I'll just change the blend mode, and we'll try to see if we can you know, hide the fact that it has some rocks, because that's going to look kind of weird if it shows up on our, our cement. Okay, so we'll just copy it. Paste it on. Okay, and for this one, I'm going to take it way down, and we'll just do two at a time. All right, so let's scale it down a bit. Alright, drag it into place, and we'll hit enter and just turn our UVs on. Alright, so we'll just line it up with the first two again. Copy it again, and paste it. Alright, cover up the uh, next ones. Alright, let's flip this around. Alright, flip it horizontally, flip it vertically. Alright, let's move it up maybe a bit. Alright, try to get the edge in between the chunks and say enter. Okay, and we'll combine them, layer 4 and 5, control E, and just trim off the excess. Invert, control shift I, and delete. Alright, so let's turn our UVs off so we can see and just uh, change the blend mode here. I'm going to try overlay again. Okay, and that's going to take you know some of it out of there, and let's just lower the opacity down a little bit too. It doesn't have to be a lot, maybe 75 or so percent. Okay, should be good. And let's just actually test this in max, see if it's going to look okay. Alright, so let's do a save. Alright, jump back over. Okay. So not too bad. Let's actually change angles here. Just get a little closer to it. Okay, and it's hiding the seam fairly well, um, which is good. We actually have the corners cut here, so I'm surprised it's not more noticeable than it is. But that looks decent. Uh, we are going to put moss on this as well, so it's going to hide some of it. Let's just do a render with active shade a little closer up. Alright, so that's probably uh, workable. Okay, so we'll just go back and uh, name our layers and then... Uh, We'll add the moss. Alright, so let's do a save. Jump back over. And we'll just organize our stuff here. Alright, so let's just grab layer 3 and we'll double click it. I'm just going to give it basically the same name here. Just call it Concrete Base 3. It doesn't really matter. And I'm not going to combine these together. Because uh, I think when we get to the point where we want to do the bump map and the spec map, I'll probably turn some of them off altogether. Okay, so we'll just call this one Concrete Base 4. Alright. Let's uh, just save one last time, now that it's named.